Imagine a place that empowers the individual. A place that offers an opportunity every day. A revolution in the way we do business. Specifically pursuing society's unqualified individuals. Allowing them to be the fundamental key that keeps this business growing. Built on the belief that all humans can bring value in all kinds of ways. We are all born with the same amount of time in a day. We all have the power to make a difference. Creative Uniques empowers the independence of an individual to be in control of how they can succeed at life and gain financial opportunities on a daily basis. Success is gained through failure. Listen to everyone, then do it backwards. Creative Uniques. Your choice, your life, your value. Inspire the uninspired to inspire others. Hello and welcome back to Creative Uniques where I teach you skills to what? Make money. Please don't forget to check out the store on Etsy in the link below as well as cuniques.com where you can find more information about this nonprofit or any of the items that you see here. If you want little sneak peeks of the items that I will be showing eventually when I get there, I am also posting on TikTok. Now on to episode three of Vintage Costume Jewelry Identification. All appraisals are accredited to Dr. Lori V at drlorivee.com. And all of this came from her subscription that was purchased for unlimited appraisals. For your benefit and learning what items are valued at as of January 2021. Now, on to the video. All right, let's jump in. These are beautiful examples of what to pick up. Check out the front. You see how all of the cutting of the stone is quite perfect, I guess to say. <laughs> I mean, you can see every angle and how it how it's been cut to reflect. Now, see these, this is lined with some faux pearls here, but check out the way this is encompassed. See, it's similar to how that other brooch and uh, ring set was set, set into the setting here with all these little prongs holding it in. Now on this one, if you look at the back, this is actual, even on the bottom, if you look, it's been cut and angled there too. This one's older, even though it has an open back, but it has, see how it's welded here? Even, it's a very, very structured back, soldered, is sturdy, it's holding these big giant stones inside. Take notice in the thickness of the metal. It was built to last. It was built to last holding this gem inside. So these together weigh 30 grams 30 grams a regular pair of bow earrings like the ones we saw earlier these together with stones only weigh 15 grams so take notice to the weight and that construction that thick heavy metal construction 
and then how it's being encompassed in here and how it's cut. These are worth $200. $200. Take a look again. Big heavy construction. Even they snap hard. As well as the cutting of the actual gemstone. Hold it to the light as well. That's the only way I could barely see that these were ruby, red, that these were red. Um, but these are worth $200. It's red or an amber, but I'm pretty pretty sure it's red <laughs> or it could be a deep purple but these have been appraised at for two hundred dollars great find next up I wanted to show you another pair of Vogue earrings they look very similar to the ones we saw earlier in the last videos except these are red red tends to sell better just the color as color wise also, to make red glass, you have to use gold, actual gold. These actually have stone in them. The other ones had um, rhinestones, but they didn't have actual the stones in, in the earrings. These are worth 50 And I'll compare them again. I'll show you again. You can see the difference. These are beads and rhinestones. Let's see if I can get it focused. There we go. Bead, 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 rhinestone, rhinestone, rhinestone. Then we get the bead here. Get it to focus. We got a bead here, rhinestone here, and then we have an actual stone. Might be tiger's eye. I haven't looked up the stone, but you can tell Vogue earrings because of the way that they're set you see that long setting like that see the other one these are both signed vogue see that long setting so when these are just bees and rhinestones are worth 20 these ones being rhinestones and actual stones gemstone i mean um stones and the earrings these are worth 50. Next up, you may have seen these in a recent post on my Instagram if you're following me there. But they're worth even more than what I thought. So these are beautiful unsigned costume jewelry clip-on earrings. Gold tone. Focus. Maybe. There we go. Again, it has a very heavy, thick metal, metal encasing. See how the spikes are all the way around? All the way around this. Also, another setting to look for. Always look for these types of settings. This is unsigned, it's milk glass. It's been etched. They have etched this out and poured gold inside of them. And then it has rhinestones. These particular ones are worth $175. And I got them for $175. They do have a matching bracelet. I actually owned the bracelet um, and earrings set that I was inherited and they're, I, they come in black and they come in and then I found these in white. So now I know they come in white. So that was very cool. But again, pay attention to this thick, thick metal. And these are 27 grams. So pay attention to the weight.
Next up, I have turquoise. I got a beautiful, beautiful, real turquoise necklace. And I, shit you not, I got this for $2.99 at a thrift store, Salvation Army. And I believe it was, if I'm not mistaken, it was the one in Farmersville. Anyways, check that out. Turquoise is really hot right now. The way to tell turquoise, between turquoise and fake turquoise, this turquoise, the veining in it is brown. It's not black. How light can, is what they use for cheaper beads that you can change to different colors. H-O-W-L-I-T-E. And those veining, that veining is all black. So pay attention to that. All these beads are brown. The speckles, they're all almost like, think of dirt, that color. So, this piece is worth $150. And I found it at a thrift store. And I told you to look out for the, cl the clasp, but for stones and turquoise, that's the lobster claw. That... That's new. This was newly made. Modern jewelry. If I can get it to show. Focus. That's called a lobster claw. That's how you know it's modern. But this is $150. Great buy. These deals are out there. Next up, a rhinestone necklace I purchased for $6.99. Still has a tag on it from the thrift store. No, it's too far away. You can't even see it. You see how much it... Oh, it's still not focusing. There it goes. All right. So this necklace I got for $6.99 at a thrift store. I believe it was on the east side of Dallas. You see how much that sparkles? I believe this is crystal. This would be crystal. You see how much I can barely, I mean, I'm barely moving and it's sparkling everywhere. When it rainbow sparkles, Rainbow sparkles are different than this, than crystal sparkles. However, this is crystal. And, uh, this, I want you to pay attention to, sorry, the tag is still on it, but if you look at the very end, see if you can see that. You see the end has a, has a jewel, and how, and look how uh, many clasps it has holding it in. Oh, I hope you can see that. There are so many holding all of these in. And there's so many crystal rhinestones on here. Can, and taking the time to take each prong down, 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 down. That's how you know value. Also, remember what I said about these hook, another hook necklace. That shows us it's vintage. And also the construction in the back. It's older, you can tell they're all solid and they're holding them in. They're all soldered together. And this item is valued at $50. And I got it for $6.99. These deals are everywhere. I hope this is helping y'all. Be careful with those though, because you know, we have a lot of jewelry that is modern day that tries to imitate that. Thank you so much for staying tuned for this episode of Creative Uniques. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as it helps this channel 
benefit more people. Thank you so much. Check you later. Bye.